Hi hey guys, Colin Burnett here, um, coming to you again as I normally do from my couch, uh, from my girlfriend's couch over here in Germany. Uh, I just wanted to shoot a video today to say sorry guys about um, if you watched the uh, Google Hangout we were, we were holding on Tuesday, um, Tuesday night 9pm New York time. I was coming to you from Amsterdam and um, my internet connection wasn't good enough to for me to talk, so I thought I'd just thought I'd just shoot a video today, um, telling you guys about you know just a bit more about me, and uh, if you haven't seen some of my other videos already, um, yeah. So I come from a farm originally in North Queensland in Australia, and um, you probably hear my heavy Aussie accent, but um, so yeah, that's that's my background. Originally, I come from a farm. And um, I've been travelling for um, about nearly leading on three and a half towards uh, four years now. And um, so yeah, I, I grew up on a um, on like a cattle station it is in Australia, and uh, lived there my whole life. You know, family have been farmers forever. Uh, originally coming from England, but. Um, so I, I had a good childhood there and then went away to boarding school and um, you know I had some good times and also had some struggle times there just sort of working out there's so many people you're not you know there's different people different ideas and boarding school is shocking for that you either got to follow the group or um, stand out on your own and, and run the tough road sort of thing and um, when you got to live with with people that have got different ideas, different different goals and that sort of thing, it's, it can be difficult, but um, yeah, so I had, a, I had a good couple of years and then the, probably the last two years, my senior years, I didn't really enjoy it that much at all and I uh, couldn't wait to get out of the place and sort of, um, you know, it's been about nine years since I've left school now and I just, um, just basically ran away from the joint and um, yeah, not too keen on boarding schools. I uh, don't think I'll send my kids to one either. But um, it was mainly because my experience with them was uh, they were just um, yeah, you, you you sort of didn't have the you know you had to follow the crowd, otherwise you were just basically bullied and that sort of thing. And uh, for a person like me, it was fairly confusing. You know, not sure what you wanted to get out of life. So. Um, yeah, you know, that's, you know, you, you, yeah, it's a struggle for the guys unless you want to follow the dumb crowd and just do whatever they do, even if it's not good for yourself and what you want to do in the future. So, you know, I struggled away there and then um, I still left school expecting that I'd be able to do, you know, whatever I wanted to do. And then I, but I, I didn't know what I wanted. So I didn't have much confidence of, you know, shy and secure kid and, um, went back home to the farm. Dad told me to come home. Um, so I went back out there into the into the hot outback of Australia and uh, worked there for nearly five years for the family business. And uh, it was a tough time, you know. I, I don't know if you guys know anything much about family business, but for me and our experience, it wasn't performing that well either. So, you know, it was, it was a struggle. And... Um, yeah, eventually I, um, you know, worked away there for years, and because the business wasn't performing very well, I um, eventually stopped getting paid. I was paid, you know, a normal wage for, for a person working out there on a farm, and then um, I ended up working for two years without getting paid, and uh, it was nearly two years. And after that time, I, I said to my dad, you know, look, I'm out of here. I'm not, you know, I'm not hanging around with this sort of stuff happening, you know, what sort of future have I got here? You know, I've seen it before and I'd, I'd seen people around the around the area, you know, they were 40, 45, still taking orders from their dad, sort of from a family business, so, um, yeah, I cut that loose and um, it's just a story about how, you know, I, I sort of took steps to do whatever I want and that's how I'm, I'm over here in Germany now and it's, um, you know, just doing whatever I want, just traveling around the world and, um, you know, it's just, just a story about how you can do it too, you know, I went through really tough times where I just didn't think I'd be able to do anything, I never thought I'd get out of it, 
And then eventually I um, gathered up enough courage and I just eventually just put my mind to it and got out of that joint and, uh, you know, never looked back, never went back to that sort of ideas. And, um, yeah, so that's just a little bit about myself. I, um, you know, three and a half years ago I took action, started started uh, doing what I wanted, found what I wanted to do in life and uh, I've got an online business running at the moment that started making money for me and, uh, you know, best thing about it is I've helped a lot of people already with my free, you know, there's a lot of free training I've got on my YouTube videos and um, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, that, that's basically story I wanted to tell you so far and uh, Tuesday I'll be coming to you from another location in Europe which I'll uh, let you guys know soon but um, yeah that that's about it that's about my message from today and um, yeah um, keep following my emails if you want some free training or uh, just jump straight in get on board um, start making something for yourself you know I did it few years ago started taking action and um, you, you know it's a bit scary at the start but then there's people there to help you I'll be here to help you with, with the online business start to make uh, extra money for yourself and then just start doing whatever you want to do and uh, it's amazing how you can just be your own man instead of you know having a boss to answer to or or any of that sort of thing but uh, yeah so I'll be in touch guys